Visco. Hi everyone, welcome to Visco channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to add a smart manage switch to Hack Panel Pro and what functions are available in it. So I prepared a switch and a camera. The switch that I'm going to use is DS-3E1318P-EI-M. The camera is just a normal 4MP IP dome camera. The camera is connected to switch and the switch is connected to the network. Okay, now let's jump to the Hack Panel Pro app. Alright, now I'm on my Hack Panel Pro. So let's create a site first. We tap on Add. Tap on Add New Site. At here, we can set our site name. I'm going to set this code. And then we can do setting on time as well. I'm going to skip this and OK. Okay, so now the site is created. Uh, we go to add device. There are several methods to add device here. First is by scanning QR code. Second is by adding device manually, which we have to key in the serial number of the device. And then third will be synchronizing device from Hack Connect app. And last method is through SATP. So I'm going to use SATP. As you can see, the second device is my switch. It is still in, in active mode. Now I'm going to activate it first. So at here we can set password and verification code. I'm going to set this code as one, two, four, both of them. And then next, wait for it to configure. It will take some time. Okay, done. Complete. Okay, so I have selected this switch to be added to my Hack Panel Pro. Then I tap on OK. Okay, now it's adding. It will take some time as well. Okay, it's done. So now uh, we can see that there is a switch added to my Hack Panel Pro. Next, I'm going to add a camera that is connected to my switch. So same method, I'm going to go to SIDP and then the first device, this is my camera. So I tap on activate. I'm going to use back the same password and verification code. Okay, next. Wait for it to configure. Okay, done. Okay, so now this camera is activated. As we can see, we can see the camera view already. Now we go to option and add the camera to Hack Partner Pro. This will take some time as well. Okay, it's done. As you can see, now I have one camera and one switch. Alright, now let's see what functions we have on the switch. So if we tap on the IP icon, we can edit the IP address, we can either use DHCP which the system will automatically assign IP address for us or we also can untake the DHCP and set our own IP address and then we have this option restore device this is factory reset and then we also can remotely reboot the switch we can edit the name of the switch as well. If we tap into the switch, okay, here we can see more information about the switch, CPU usage, memory usage, PoE power usage. And if we scroll down, we can see individual port status. So, okay, we can see that port 4 is having some information. So from here, we can see that the PoE power consumption of this port 4 is 3.0 Watt. Actually, this port 4 is connected to the camera and we also can see other information such as bit rate and bandwidth usage. And down here, we can see that there are three options. First is reboot port. So we can remotely reboot this particular port. 
port number 4 and if you tap on the pure device you can see the information of the device that is connected to this port and if you tap on the extend mode to enable the extend mode so for the extend mode the cable connection length can go up to 300 meter but the speed will drop to 10 mbps okay if we tap on the three dots at the top left sorry top right we can see topology okay so this is the topology of the switch it is connected to uplink and it is also connected to a camera so let's try to tap on the camera if we tap on the camera we can see more information about the camera such as the model the type which is a camera and the, also the serial number the firmware version and the IP address right so at here we also can see the live view of this camera by tapping on the play icon okay you can see the camera from here it is quite similar to the height connect function available here we have playback we have PTZ and we also can enable the sound okay so yeah this is basically the overall functions that are available if we add a high vision managed switch to high panel pro thank you for watching visco